السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس ویلکم بیک ٹو یونٹ نمبر الیون بکس ان پرنٹنگ ٹوڈے وی ول بی کمپلیٹنگ دا ریسٹ آف دا چیپٹر آف یور یونٹ نمبر الیون سو لیٹ اسٹارٹ ود دا ای لیکچر نمبر ٹو آف سوشل اسٹڈیز گریڈ فور نو لیٹس ہیو اے تھرو بیک ایٹ واٹ وی ہیو لرن ان دس چیپٹر اپ ٹل ناؤ دا پیپل بیگان ٹو رائٹ تھاؤزنڈ آف ایئرز گو دا چائنیز انوینٹڈ پیپر ان دا سیکنڈ سینچری سی ای Europeans did not make paper until hundreds of years later. Books were copied by hand using a quill pen and ink. People in ancient times used blocks with pictures and letters carved on them to print on soft clay. Early printing. Let's have a look at how the early printing started. As long ago as 3500 BCE, people in Mesopotamia carved pictures on hard materials such as stone. They used these for stamping copies of pictures. Later then, they began to carve writing on them. From about 220 BCE, people across Asia carved writing on blocks of wood to print whole pages. The writing was back to front, that is, in mirror form, so that it would print the right way around. By about the 9th century, the Chinese printed books this way. In Europe they printed religious pictures on cloths with wood blocks from about 1400 they printed many of these and other pictures on paper they began to print books like this called block books this was much quicker than copying books by hand but the printer had to make a block for each page In China in the 11th century a man named Bi Sheng made separate letters from clay and baked them in a fire those letters were then solidified he put those letters in a metal frame and covered it with wax wax is the same material from which the candles are made then he pushed those letters onto the wax so that they stayed onto the metal frame and then that frame was used for printing he could arrange those letters in a different format to make a different page that's how china invented the first printing machine that's how china invented the first print the next topic is a new type of printing between 1234 and 1241 an official in korea named Cho Yun Oi made metal letters for printing. So before China made letters while baking them in a fire. They made it from clay. But now a Korean named Cho Yun Oi made metal letters for printing. But for a long time printing was only allowed for books for the government. About 200 years later a German named Gutenberg made metal letters to print with he also made a printing press a machine for print so how gutenberg came up with this press and how did it work and what mechanism was used and how it affected the overall european printing presses let's have a look at a video shown in the next slide such a big deal Before the movable type printing press was invented, books were expensive and either copied by hand or made using block printing. Copying books by hand was tedious and time-consuming, and scribes sometimes made copying errors. Block printing meant that text and images had to be carved into blocks of wood, then covered with ink and stamped onto a page. These blocks were time-consuming to create and use. By 1450, less than 30,000 books existed in all of Europe. All of this would change with the innovations of Johannes Gutenberg. In the late 1390s, Johannes Gutenberg was born into an upper-class family in Mainz, Germany. He learned various crafts like blacksmithing, jewel cutting, and goldsmithing. Around 1450, he began developing new techniques for improving the printing press. Gutenberg created a process using movable metal type which meant that letters could be rearranged into countless patterns. This was faster and more accurate than any previous method. It made books and tracts much more affordable. Gutenberg's first major project was printing the Bible in Latin. By 1500 there were over 200 printing shops in Europe. 
It is estimated that between 8 and 20 million books were printed during those first 50 years. This type of printing press would lead to the mass production of the Bible. This meant that the Bible was more accessible and affordable to people than ever. After this invention, printing became cheaper and cheaper. About 150 years after Gutenberg set up his printing press, the first newspaper, The Relation, was printed in Germany in 1605. And here is a page from The Relation that you can see on this slide. Let us go through the key facts that we have learned from this chapter so far. Woodblock printing started in Asia. The first person to print separate letters lived in China. Cho Yunoi made the first metal letters for printing in the 13th century in Korea. Gutenberg invented a printing press that used metal letters in the 15th century. Printing helped to spread the learning and new ideas. This marks the end of our chapter. Let's proceed to question and answers for this chapter. So coming to the question and answers of this chapter, first you need to go to your page number 95 of your books where there is part A which states copy the sentences into your notebook, write true or false and even correct the false statements. So whatever the statements that are false, you need to correct them too. And how you can correct them? The the wrong word could be crossed out and you have to write the correct word in front or in up above it. Then you need to go to page number 99 of your books where there is part A again and it states copy the sentences into your notebook, choose the correct words from the brackets. There are four sentences and you have to complete those sentences by choosing the correct word from the brackets. The brackets have either two or a three uh, words that you have to choose the correct word from. So this also has to be done on your notebooks. Then there is the question, why do you think Gutenberg rather than Cho Yun Ui became famous as the inventor of printing? Why do you think Gutenberg rather than Cho Yun Ui became famous as the inventor of printing? Go back to the slides, uh, go through your books. You can go to your page number 96 of your books and you read those uh, paragraphs and then you I'm sure you'll find the answer from there Thank you for listening to our lecture. If you like this video, kindly hit the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. All the videos will be uploaded on our YouTube channel for the completion of syllabus. Also, hit the bell icon for getting updates regarding the YouTube videos. If you love this video, please don't forget to share it with your family and friends. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.